All right, friends, here we are back again. We're doing Winner's Embrace Challenge, where we have to find 25 packs of ketchup chips and 25 bottles of maple syrup. So far, we have found one bottle of maple syrup, and I think we only need 17 more to find 17 more ketchup chips. So we're moving a little slow right now because I, uh, I was collecting things as if we were playing to survive, which kind of we are, but not really. We need to survive long enough to find all the items we need, but other than that, we don't need to carry everything. But I did collect a whole bunch of cloth, and I collected that to... Turn into bandages because we only have one bandage and we're not dogs so we we don't eat dog food. I didn't see any wolves down here and I haven't heard the wolf. So I'm not sure if they're just playing possum or what. I could go across there and then go down over to that cave where we're headed, but I don't want to backtrack. So I want to go up here to see if uh, this guy up on top of the hill here has any chips on him. Maybe he was out camping with a bottle of syrup. As soon as we get to a, a comfortable place, I'm going to sort out this waste, weight issue once and for all. We do have 16 pieces of wood on us, uh, reclaimed wood, because we had to chop down a pack of pallets to get to a plastic bucket inside the pipe, which we were unable to sleep in while it's Blizzarding. I hope we're able to walk straight up this way which it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. What? What? I thought you were... What? I guess I gotta go around. Did they change this? I thought you were able to walk right up there. Fortunately, we're out of the wind, but we are getting cold. I guess I was just a little too far over to the right. We might have to stay here if it gets too bad. But fortunately, we have a little extra health buffer there, that blue. Am I? What's going on? Did they change this area? Oh, 
Why can't I get over there? I should have been able to get over there. All right. Whatever. They did change it, or I'm confused. I was up there, in another playthrough. So we're more slow than we normally would be because we're tired, so that dropped our weight carry capacity down to like 55, I think. And we were already over 100. But the cave's just around this corner, so... I'm not sure if we should have went to Pleasant Valley first. We might have wanted to start out in Coastal Highway and then head over to Desolation Point and then end and hopefully by then we could have ended in Desolation, uh, I mean uh, Pleasant Valley. Because if Pleasant Valley was already kind of a bummer with all the blizzards so since they increased the rate of blizzards it must be blizzards all the time there well it's going on the morning and we still haven't slept looks like it's clearing up a little or it might just be our windbreak here Pretty windy, slowing us down quite a bit. Hey, rabbit. Hey, hey. Well, that wind doesn't look like it on the screen, but it sure is slowing us down more than just the weight we're carrying. Okay. We're going to have to make a choice on that rifle. That's eight pounds. There's usually some snacks in this cave.
All right, let's get a fire started and hit the sack. Drop off some of this weight. Goodness for that. Yes. We're not losing any more condition. don't know what we're gonna drop. That went a good ways to dropping some of our weight. Well, for now it only really transferred it. But, uh, I guess these chips go bad unless I pick them up like that. Okay. Thought we had some uh, tea. Oh, there it is. We're probably going to need some water. I'll just make two cans. That's it. That'll be one liter. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I know. All right, what do we got? We should be full health when we wake up. All right. Good. I'll uh, drink this coffee to cover up those other hours that we're missing. Or make up for it, should I say. Still got three hours on the fire. We can still run, so that means we're not completely overweight. So, let's get out of here. Make our way to Pleasant Valley. I guess we'll go from Pleasant Valley to Coastal Highway and then Desolation Point. And if we haven't found all the items by then, we'll have to start searching other places, I guess. What else can we do? But I can't think of any other places where there would be a likelihood of having Food. Unless they're inside the caves or up on Hush River Valley at like the mysterious signal fires and places like that. There's a few caves in there at Hush River Valley that uh, has possibilities for items. Definitely that cave that uh, goes from Polstow Highway to where does that come out at? Does it come out in Desolation Point? I 
There's a lot of stuff in those caves. It's not too cold right now. We only have one down point. Plus we're protected by the wind, so from the wind. We did get a couple good parkas that were better than those windbreakers we were wearing. All oh, right, we still need to drop off a bunch of stuff. Need to make some bandages. We need to carry at least five, I would say. And then repair any of the clothing that we have and then drop any uh, cloth that we have over five. As long as it's more than one or two. It's pretty windy here. I would really like to see an icon that shows that the wind is affecting you. And, you know, like, see, they have the icon down there that shows you're overweight. But they don't have one that shows you that you're being slowed down by the wind. But they do have an icon that shows you're protected from the wind. So that might be something for them to do instead of spray paint and rock caches that take 50 stones to make. Now you're probably never going to use. So, while we're here, let's uh, make some bandages. Oh, get out of there. Since we're warm, warming up. Now that we've done that, what kind of clothing can we repair? Oh yeah, I want to check out these ski gloves. So, 40% wicking there, 30 for that one, 1.7. These gauntlets are way better than them ski gloves. Look at that, 3.6 for both wind resistance and heat and 40% for the moisture rating at 6% for the armor. And this is just crap. It only excels in the movement. And that's just by 2%. So what? These are these should be much better than a pair of gauntlets. Okay. So let's just uh how long is it going to take to if we top this off, how long will it take? 40 minutes? Well, that'll take two cloth. Do it, what time is it? It's almost evening. We don't want to take that time. Should we check out that way? Uh, all right, no chips in there. It might be smart to pick up a couple pieces of this coal at least. Especially heading into Pleasant Valley. Them blizzards are pretty cold. 
We'll come out here and we'll see if we can't make our way to the uh, the radio tower. As that will more than likely give us a better pair of pants than those jeans that we're wearing. We might be looking at a bag of chips over there by the fire that's in here. We'll stay the night in here and then we'll catch up on any kind of repairs that we need to do. At least top off our gear and then uh, just to get rid of some of the cloth instead of dropping it. So we can only wear one of these, right? Let's see. No, we can wear two. Okay, I suppose this is the outer. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. What load? You just got rid of it. We got a lot of stems, we got a lot of pain pills. We don't need all these. All right. Uh, I like to carry these just in case for these Aqua Pure water purification tablets because just in case of we're melting water and then it gets blown out, we can, uh, we won't have to drink stagnated water or whatever it's called. Uh, okay, do we have anything in here that we're not wearing that we can drop? Keeping those mittens. Ended up with a couple more of these. We'll drop those right here. If we need them, we know where they are. Okay. So we're moving up pretty much quicker now. Just dropping that stuff off. Uh, let's see. getting evening. I don't want to go outside and make our way towards the, well we could, we could try to make it to the, uh, okay, let's go. We're going to move on, we're going to press on, we're going to go on, and we're going to try to make it to the signal tower. Should we go back here first and see if there's anything back here? Could be a bottle of, uh... Maple syrup. Nope. But if we need wood, we know where to come. This is going to be pretty fun. 
Last time I came out this hole, this cave exit, I ended up fighting three wolves in a row. But I was had pretty good gear, pretty good gear on at that time. We might just have enough light to make it over there. Okay friends, here we are again at the end of another video, and I'll see you in the next one.